Hey, Pete here for Studio Live today. And in today's video, we're going to be looking at how to use inter-app audio to add effects to your instruments or to your audio recordings. So if you're new to inter-app audio, highly recommend you watch my previous video, which was on how to use inter-app audio for an instrument, because that will give you the basics of how to use the function. If you haven't watched it, we'll go through everything that you need for the effects here anyway, but it's a good idea to get an understanding of how it works for both. So in our previous video, we recorded um, this piano line and we had some bass and guitar. So let's just have a quick listen to that now. So you can hear there that we've got the bass, the guitar, and that piano. And the piano track was recorded using interrap audio, which is why it is an audio waveform. So it basically uses the audio recorder function of GarageBand to actually enable the uh, recording from within another app. So what we're going to do here now is uh, I'm going to pretend I really didn't like this recording and this sound, and I'm going to go ahead and delete it. Um, because what I want to do in this video is actually show you how if you wanted to add an effect whilst recording an instrument, you can do that at the same time. So let's go new track and let's select inter app audio apps. So once again, we want to select an instrument. So we'll go the iGrand piano again. Uh, but this time, before we go ahead and do our performance, well, let's just listen to what that sounds like before we add any effects. So just a, a fairly dry sounding grand piano sound. Let's go back to GarageBand and you, if we tap not on the actual icon for the Interrap Audio uh, instrument but on the little jack here, we go to our audio settings and you can see under the input settings we've got Interrap Audio and we've already got our instrument selected but if we tap on that we can not only add an instrument but also an effect. So if we hit effect and let's just use this one, the AD483 and I'll have a link in the description below, so if you want to go and download this and have a play with it, it's a pretty cool um, app for adding some reverb effects to your instruments, so you can have a play with that one. So we've now got our instrument set up and our effect, and we'll hit done, and we're back at this familiar screen. So if we hit the record button here, well, we're not going to be able to play our piano, so what we're going to do is go back by tapping on the piano icon at the top here, and we're back within the iGrand app. So in order to record, once again, actually before we do, if you hear that, it's actually got, and I didn't show you this before, in fact I'll go back and show you, so you can hear it's got a reverb, reverb effect on there, and the reverb effect that we've selected here is the cathedral sound. So number one, the default one is cathedral. Um, and I'll keep it on that one because that's a fairly exaggerated kind of sound. You'll be able to hear that a lot better. So we go back to GarageBand and back to our piano. It's very, uh, it's got that reverb, that cathedral reverb. So with this, with the interrap audio instrument and effect, you can see how you can start to bring together combinations of some really cool sounds. So if you've got a nice drum machine and you want to add some really cool or reverb or, or some delay or some other effects to that, you can do that. Same with a piano, basically anything that supports inter-app audio and the number of apps that are support that are growing um, every day. So let's uh, record our sound here using the reverb piano. Let's drop it down a little bit and, and record down here. Let's go. Okay, we've done the same problem we had before, so we haven't reset back to the start of the track. So I started recording halfway through, so we'll just try that one again. Hit record, get our count in. And there's our recording done. So we hit the GarageBand icon and our track. And here we are back at our track. And we can see our piano is recorded down there. If we hit play and play it back. So you can hear that sound. And if we just solo it for a second...
you can hear our piano's got that nice reverb, reverb effect. Now, the performance was a little bit ordinary, um, and you, you may not use a piano or that effect in, in this type of song, but the, the overall um, information's there in terms of how you can utilise um, the Interrap audio for not only an instrument, but for an effect. And uh, I hope you found this interesting and it demystified Interrap audio. If you've never used it or played with it before, I hope you now get in and have a go because it's a very cool feature and it uh, really opens up and expands the sort of sounds that you can get within GarageBand.